So welcome back. Today we have another video in our series that we've been doing on the fall trends. And today we have a fall trend that it wasn't mentioned in our video, but it is definitely hot for fall and has been hot for fall, I would say for the last couple, couple of years. years. It's the military jackets, if you didn't guess by our outfits <laughs> today. So we're gonna be showing you lots of ways to wear military jackets, ways to style them, as well as some links on our favorite military jackets. And for me, I feel like I was really excited to do this video because, you know, it's not just you guys who sometimes get stuck in a rut with using, you know, the same True. color combinations with it. I even feel like for myself, I learned, you know, some other ideas of military Absolutely. jackets that we can put outfits together with. So stay tuned and hope you enjoy. So for my first outfit, I actually paired my military jacket with some denim cutoff shorts, which I know for those of you who are living in colder climates might not be something you would do for fall. So obviously you can swap out the shorts for jeans, but for a lot of us, especially those of us living in Florida, fall is still perfectly good shorts weather. But sometimes when you're going inside in the AC, you, you, know, you like to have a little jacket. So I think it's a great way to kind of pair it. Um, so I paired my military jacket with some denim cutoffs that I used all summer from Old Navy, as well as this Madewell striped t-shirt that I absolutely love. It's a great t-shirt. It's um, just snug enough, but not too snug. So I tied that up with a little knot and I threw it on with some um, sneakers, some white sneakers. And these are great minor Sperry's. You can also pick up on identical looking pair of Old Navy and their leather, so you can just wipe them off when they get dirty. But I felt like, you know, this was kind of unexpected with the stripes. And my daughter saw me trying it on and she actually said, oh, I like that outfit. I would never think to put stripes with my military jacket. And I thought, yes, that's exactly what we're going for. So it's a good little twist. See, and in that instance right there, that's exactly what I'm talking about because I didn't think about stripes either, but I really love this outfit. I thought it was cute and casual um, and very just like, you know, for us fall appropriate, but like you said, you can actually, you know, pair it with jeans and, you know, it doesn't have to be just denim. You can also wear it with white jeans or black jeans. I thought it was a really cute combination. So. Yeah, definitely like this is kind of like our typical way of running around town, you know, go doing errands, super casual. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely one that I can see myself wearing. Um, when we're at least in like the 70s, you yeah. know, we can actually put on, even the low 80s, <laughs> we can actually put on a jacket. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and for my first outfit, is what I'm wearing right now, <laughs> super surprise, cute. surprise, um, was a floral light uh, summer, floral dress that I picked up from Old Navy. I think and that was I, in our fall haul, right? Yes, I love yes. that. And I paired it um, with some just chunky, strappy black heels. I really love the idea of putting something that was very feminine and floral along with something that's a little bit more, you know, rugged, you know, with the military jacket. I just really love that combination of that look paired together. So something that, you know, usually I would wear this with a jean jacket and I really mm -hmm. wouldn't have thought of putting it with a military jacket, but I think that you know because there's a little bit of green in here I thought yeah. it paired I, I thought really it paired like nicely it. yeah I agree and it kind of took something that would traditionally be a little bit summery mm. and made it like really fall once you put that nice you know military jacket on so I feel like it's something you could do like for church or you know a little bit nicer if it was cooler out I, I definitely like it for sure super cute so for my next outfit I actually paired a simple black t-shirt dress I've been seeing these t-shirt dresses everywhere and I've really never owned one before, but lately I'm really enjoying them because they go with so many different things like denim jackets or um, the army military jacket. So I paired it with just a simple black t-shirt dress and my favorite part of this look, I have to say, was this awesome find, which is the shoes. Yeah. Um, these black studded mules I actually found at Target for, I wanna say they were like $20 and they're just such a good find because it really adds something to the black. Um, so I really like the way this turned out together and I threw it on with a leopard bag that I've owned for years and we actually linked a really similar leopard bag that um, J. Crew is making right now. So I like that little pop of leopard to add some fun, some color, but um, these shoes were definitely for me like what made it. I just, I'm loving the Target um, A New Day brand lately mm -hmm. for shoes. Like they just have so many cute ones. So yeah, I can for sure see myself wearing this. 
focus to do errands or go to lunch or a meeting at the school. Yeah, and I really love it too because I love the t-shirt dresses because mm -hmm. they're just so comfortable. They are, they are. They all, it's almost like wearing your pajamas outside. Yes, <laughs> Except for you're looking so much cuter. It's true. So I loved it and I fell in love with the shoes, really did. I thought that, you know, like mules are super cute but just to have the little studs and for $20, like I'm so proud of I'm rubbing off on you. I know. <laughs> I was saying the other day, like, you know, I love shopping it's, and I love some luxury goods. You know me, I love my fancy handbags, but there's something that makes me feel so accomplished about finding like a great pair yes. of shoes at like Target and for like $20. Deal, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you know what, especially when it's not something that's really classic, mm -hmm. because let's be honest, you know, studded mules, they're not going to be, you're not going to be wearing those three years from now. So why spend a lot of money on that kind of trend, but when you can get that kind of trend for 20 bucks, like, right. heck yeah, you know, I'm all about that. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. And you could also pair this with like a cute little pair of sneakers, yep. and it would be really cute exactly. for running all over town. Yeah, so. and actually the white sparrows that you were wearing. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, I'm loving the, the t-shirt dresses too lately. I think I'm gonna have to pick up a few more of those. Yeah, super easy. And for my next outfit, um, I paired my military jacket with a chambray, a light chambray yes. button down shirt that I picked up from like Old Navy. Um, I really liked the lighter color chambray with the military jacket, but you could definitely pair it with the darker mm -hmm. chambray. It looks just as good. Um, I had some white jeans on as well as also some uh, knee high brown boots and I really love the color combination of using the denim with the lighter brown. I don't know, I've been really feeling like I've been gravitating towards a lot of those browns yes. and the denim lately and obviously white jeans are just, you know, a favorite. Exactly. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I really like the way the, the brown boots played with the white jeans and the brown bag and the brown belt and so cute. So I can't wait to be able to wear this outfit, but you know, for us, it's probably going to be like January. Exactly. <laughs> but for those of you who are lucky enough to have fall, this is like such a pretty fall look. So pretty. Yeah, really like this one a lot. Love those colors together. Yeah, and I feel like I've been seeing, you know, lots of people wearing different, you know, denim or chambray mm -hmm. shirts. So it's just another, you know, um, top that you can wear with. Absolutely. So. so for my last outfit, I paired my distressed jeans, which I basically live in all the time, <laughs> with um, this checked navy and white shirt and my military jacket. And then I had some little braided brown booties that I picked up during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I popped those on and I really liked the, the pattern, the check pattern with the, the military jacket. And I was the same as you. Like before, you know, I really started thinking about how to wear these yeah. jackets, I definitely thought of it as a green jacket. And a green jacket could only go with white or black, maybe gray. I think, you know, I've had this jacket for a couple of years and I think I literally have mostly just used it with those neutral plain t-shirts. Um, but you really need to think about these jackets as being a neutral because right. it's not really a green jacket It's like a, a military jacket. It's kind of um, It's kind of more of a neutral that you can put with some patterns um, checks flannels Florals and it really looks great with a lot of different, you know things paired with it So I think you know, that's one of the things we really learned and that we really want to teach other women is you know Don't be afraid to use it like a jacket, like you would a denim jacket, like you would a, a leather jacket. Exactly. So yeah, I like the way this one came out. I definitely can see myself wearing this when it cools off a bit, um, you know, running all over town, running errands, working at the school, going to dinner. So it was, you know, who knew? Checks with the military. Yeah, I know, and I really <laughs> was so happy to see this outfit because I loved the check shirts. and. I just kept trying to think of you know different ways to be able to incorporate it in different outfits so when you paired it together I thought oh my gosh one more outfit that I get to wear this shirt with so really loved it I thought it was super cute yeah, yeah that definitely happens a lot too like you'll have something in a video <laughs> and then I'll literally be wearing that outfit like the next day and I go out and then I'll wear something in a video and I'll see you out wearing it I'm like good thing we don't go to the same school exactly. you know? because people would for sure be like these two are twinsies <laughs> We actually learn a lot too when we're making these videos. Yeah. We, it really like pushes us out of our comfort zone, makes us try different things as well. So yeah. it's fun. It's fun yeah. getting to kind of, you know, stretch and work outside of the box, not only for us, but also for you guys. So and for my last outfit, um, I paired my J. Crew just white t-shirt with a really pretty um, 
leopard print scarf and then I had some black pants on and you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, this is the one that I had my knee high, <gasps> brown knee high boots in. Yes. <laughs> the other one I was wearing the mules. The mules, was... the old navy <laughs> mules. So this is it. But you know what? Those boots would look great with it, either it of those outfits. Yeah, so it definitely was. something it for was. next time. But yeah. yeah, it was with the black jeans. And this one I loved because, you know, we have a thing about leopard print. So being able to incorporate leopard print along with the military jacket, I just thought it was, honestly, I put it on and I felt like I should be, you know, smelling apple cider and it yes, just felt very, very fall. fall. Super cute. Yeah. I agree. I mean, you know me, whenever I can put in a pop of leopard print, it's going to show up. <laughs> it's going to show up somewhere. If you don't see it on it, it might be in my underwear. <laughs> some leopard showing up somewhere, a belt, a shoe. But I really liked it with this, with the green. It looked so pretty and it just like added that pop. So, mm -hmm. And I loved that the, the boots brought out the brown in the scarf. So I agree. Really when you can cute. incorporate two of the current trends that are going on into one outfit, I feel like, you know, you're just rocking. Double down. <laughs> double so down. don't wear that um, this week because I'll <laughs> probably be wearing it. No, let's be honest, I won't because it's like 100 degrees <laughs> out. So if I wear it, but it's we'll going to be, be like with shorts. Watch the first day that it's cold. We'll, we'll both wear. show up somewhere with that outfit. Yeah, we will. <laughs> but yeah, that was really cute. So I think we did great. Like, yeah, finding a lot of fun ways to wear this. So definitely makes me feel like, you know, this jacket is an investment piece. Whether you find one for a really good price, which I, I think the ones that we linked were, you know, very reasonably yeah. priced. But regardless, this is something you're going to have in your wardrobe for years to come and you can really get a lot of use out of it. Exactly. And you know, for myself, you know, I have a longer torso, so I do tend to, you know, prefer jackets that can hit me a little bit longer on the hip. But if you're maybe short-waisted, you might prefer mm -hmm. a military jacket that's like a little bit shorter that kind of hits you, you know, a little bit more along the waistline to create a little bit of a waist. So just go out there and try, you know, for this one, it does have, you know, like a little drawstring. I think yours does as well. Yeah, it's funny, I didn't you know? even really notice. Mine, I feel like yeah. it's a little bit shorter, a little bit less of a, of a break, more of like a, a straight. But it's true, it's really just about trying a right. bunch of different ones and kind of seeing what looks the best on you. Some of them are like a little bit heavier up here, some of them are a bit longer. Yeah, we There's actually so went to, to choose from. Um, Gap a couple of mm -hmm. days ago and we saw they had like a really cute one yes. that was there as well. So Yeah, we um, we linked a few for you. I think both of them were Nordstrom. Um, Gap has some. I mean, they're, they're everywhere. They're you everywhere. really can't go out without finding one. So just try on and see what works for your body type and now hopefully we've given you lots of great ideas of, exactly. of how to wear it. Exactly, yeah. So, and also, you know, we do have two completely different, you know, skin tones so you can see that, you know. Yes. When we do these different trends, you are able to see what works, you know, right. on different skin tones, different skin, uh, hair color, mm -hmm. hair length. So, yep, body types. We've got, we are opposite the track. <laughs> <We> are. <laughs> and it's funny because they're even a little bit different greens. Mm. Not because of any particular reason. They no. just, they come in some different like green tones. Some of them are more brown tones. So yeah, I'm definitely a fan. I'm looking forward to being able to to wear my military jacket. It's been a while. Yeah, so. <laughs> we're just dying for real, we are like really cool, dying. cooler weather. At least today we weren't sweating as much, you know? That's the weather true. seems to be cooling off at least a little bit. That is so. true. So let's see. Um, so anyways, if you haven't already, please hit that notification bell so that that way you're notified. Every Monday we come out with new videos and don't forget to subscribe and to give our, th our video a thumbs up if you like this content and leave a comment down below yes. and let us know whether there's any other, you know, uh, videos that you guys are interested in us making for you guys. Yes, we've got lots of good um, fall trends coming out. We're trying to do these how to style videos on all the different fall trends. So if you have one that maybe we haven't thought of, please share it in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And before you know it, we'll be working on winter trends. Exactly. And if you haven't um, followed us on Instagram, please do that as well. And we'll see you next week. <laughs>